हॅलो फ्रेंड्स माय नेम इज चिन्मय देशपांडे इन दिस व्हिडिओ लेक्चर वी आर गोईंग टू डिस्कस अ टॉपिक फ्रॉम युनिट इंटरपोलेशन द नेम ऑफ अ टॉपिक इज कन्सेप्ट ऑफ सेंट्रल ऑपरेटर्स सो फॉर दॅट केस लेट अस कन्सिडर वी हॅव अ व्हॅल्यूज ऑफ अ वाय फ्रॉम अ गिवन फंक्शन लेट से वाय इक्वल टू एफ ऑफ एक्स इज द गिवन फंक्शन विच इज अननोन टू अस वी डोंट नो वॉट इज द व्हॅल्यू ऑफ अ फंक्शन बट we know values of a y that is i can write it as y0 y1 up to yn we know all these values so i can write it as these are known values known values of function y equal to a of x we don't know what is a function but we know the values of y starting from y0 y1 up to yn for that function corresponding to some values of x so corresponding to values of x that is x0 x1 up to xn now let us consider that the data is equally spaced so let me write it as here data is equally spaced so already we have gone through a concept of equally spaced in previous lectures also equally spaced is nothing but this h which will be equal to state size so which is equal to what which is equal to x1 minus x0 or x2 minus x1 or x3 minus x2 like that so in other words i can say that that is i can write it as x1 will be equal to what x0 plus h x2 will be equal to what x1 plus h so h is that common factor you can say a similar value uh, or you can say that a difference between all values of a x is a same so in other words i can write it as x i plus 1 will be equal to x i plus h where i stands from 0 1 2 up to you can write it up to n now let me consider this step number 3 let me write it as now we know this function f of x0 it will be equal to y0 f of x1 it will be equal to y1 like that i can write it as this function f of xn equal to yn that is when you put x equal to x0 in a given function whatever uh, you will get a value of y0 now the central we are talking about central difference operator so please remember this central difference operator it is denoted by a symbol delta only but that delta it 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 looks like this this will be a delta so the delta is a central difference operator and we can write it as a direct formula as delta f of x will be equal to this is a formula f of x plus h by 2 minus f of x minus h by 2 so you can say this will be your standard formula for a central difference operator so therefore from this i can write it as first order i can write it as first order difference operator first order difference operator so let me write it as delta f of x of 1 by 2 it will be equal to what delta y of 1 by 2 which will be equal to f of x1 minus f of x0 and now what we did here in place of x here we have written x of 1 by 2 or x1 by 2 uh, in place of this f of x1 i can write it as y1 in place of this f of x0 i can write it as here y0 similarly i can write it as delta f of x of 3 by 2 will be equal to what it is delta y of 3 by 2 which is equal to f of x2 minus f of x1 means i can write it as this will be your y2 minus y1 so similarly for nth term i can write it as uh, yes we can write it as for a nth term but instead of writing that now we will go for second order differences 
so let me write it as second order difference so what will be the second order difference if i want to write it it will be like this del square of y1 will be equal to del y of 3 by 2 minus del y of 1 by 2 then del square of y2 will be equal to del y of 5 by 2 minus del y of 3 by 2 similarly i can write it this is for first term second term so i can write it as del square of yn will be equal to it will be what so we have to write it as del y of 2n plus 1 divided by 2 minus del y of 2n minus 1 divided by 2 you will be able to understand this when we have here 2 we have this 5 by 2 means if you see here then we will get it 2n plus 1 by 2 so n is 2 2 into 2 plus 1 is 5 by 2, and here uh, 2n minus 1 by 2. So if you put here 2, so you will get 2 into 2 is 4 minus 1 is 3. So you will get this as a 3 by 2. So that's why this is your generalized formula for second order differences. So instead of going in this detail, so therefore I can draw a central. We can say central difference table. central difference table let me take the values that we have taken previously we have taken uh, the value like this suppose we have value x y so this will be your x0 this will be your let me take it as a y0 so this is x1 y1 then we have value x2 y2 we have a value x3 and a y3 so let me draw a table that is central difference operator so please remember this is very important topic it will be useful when we have to see central difference interpolation that is stirling and the bessel these will be the next topics that we have to discuss but for that case it is required to know uh, how to draw a central difference table so this will be your x0 its corresponding value is y0 then x1 y1 x2 y2 and here let me write it as x3 and y3 so how to represent this central difference operator it is del y so please see it carefully how i am going to write it as now it will be second value minus first value which is same y1 minus y0 okay after that here again del y second value minus first value that is y2 minus y1 and here also del y second value minus first value that is y3 minus y2 now the thing is that what to be written here at a suffix now as we are talking about a central difference operator so let me choose the another color here so that i can show it to you easy here if you see here what are the terms here here it is 1 it is 0 so what is the center of 1 and 0 means what If, uh, how to find it out center it will be what 1 plus 0 divided by 2 so that will be the center so in a suffix here you have to write 1 by 2 now here if you see we have 2 and a 1 so what is the center of 2 and a 1 it is nothing but what 2 plus 1 divided by 2 which will be equal to 3 by 2 here if you see we have a suffix 3 and a 2 so what is the center of 3 and a 2 3 Plus two divided by two, so we will get it as here five by two. So please remember how to write this suffix. Again, I am going to explain this. If we here we have one and zero, so center of one and zero means we will take average one plus zero divided by two. So we will get it as one by two. Center of two and one, that is two plus one divided by two, it will be three by two, or you can write it as one point five. But here in this case we can write it as three by two. Now. how to complete a table again so let me change the color so that i can write a table with the same color so it will be what here we have to write del square of y so how to write this del square of y again it will be second value minus first value that is del y suffix so here it is 3 by 2 minus del y 1 by 2 again here let me write it as del square y will be equal to del y 5 by 
that is second value minus first value that is del y 3 by 2. Now the thing is that how to write a suffix. So let me change color of a pen. So how to write a suffix here if you see the value is 3 by 2. Here it is 1 by 2. So what is the center of 3 by 2 and 1 by 2 means what we have to write. Uh, don't write this, whatever we have written in a red color calculation, don't write this in a examination. This is for uh, explanation purpose. So 3 by 2 plus 1 by 2, we have to find it out its center, means we need to divide it by 2. So 3 by 2 plus 1 by 2 means what? It is 4 by 2. So let me write it as here, it is 4 by 2 divided by 2. So 4 by 2 is 2, 2 by 2 will be equal to 1. So here the suffix will be 1. And if here suffix is 1, but of course here you will get suffix as a 2. You can do it for this. 5 by 2 plus 3 by 2 divided by 2. As this is central difference operator, that's why we are doing this for writing a suffix here. So it will be what? 8 by 2 divided by 2. 8 by 2 is 4 by 2. Uh, sorry, 8 by 2 is 4, which is divided by 2. So it will be what? 2. So here you will get suffix as a and let me write here a last term or we can say a last column. So how to write it? It will be what? It will be your del cube of y. So how to write it for del cube of y? Let me write it here as del cube of y will be equal to. So okay, just a minute. Del cube of y will be equal to this second value minus first value. That is del square y2 minus del square y1. So here also if you see this is your 2, this is your 1. So what is the center of 2 and 1? 2 plus 1 divided by 2. So you will get it as 3 by 2. So here we can write it as this will be your suffix as 3 by 2. So I think now you people have understood this, how to prepare this table. Now why this is called as central difference table? Because here we are taking difference between values of a y, second minus first, y1 minus y0, y2 minus y1 like that. And here we are uh, we are uh, uh, looking for a center value as a suffix. So that's why this is called as central difference table. Now it will be useful for further topics. So please see this video carefully. If you have any doubt, please feel free to ask any question. Thank you for watching this video.